Hi everyone, it's Meher from Vancouver, BC. Welcome back to my interview series. The purpose of my videos is to introduce you to tips that will help you in your job search by interviewing experts in the field. If you are a first time watcher, please subscribe to the channel so that you are aware every day I am posting the videos. So let's start with today's interview. Today I'll be interviewing Mike Shackerman. He is the Regional VP of Professional Staffing Service at Robert Half BC and also an owner of Eco Careers across the Lower Mainland. Welcome, Mike. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have the privilege to interview Mike from uh, Robert Hatford. How, Mike, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Doing well. Thanks for having me on your, uh, on your channel. Thank you for taking the time to interview you and ask you a few questions. So my first question for you is, tell me more about yourself and your career. And if you're having any obstacles in your career, how do you overcome them? Yeah, so... Um Basically, I'm the regional vice president for uh, for Robert Half in British Columbia. Uh, my career actually started in recruitment back in 2006, uh, and uh, over the last dozen years, uh, really it's evolved. Uh, specifically, over the last five years at Robert Half, uh, I've been lucky enough to to lead uh, a large team and operations uh, across multiple disciplines. But going back to your question around uh, overcoming challenges, I think that. Uh, when you face things head on, I think that's when you really uh, come ahead. I think that it's really uh, easy to skirt away from, from challenges, but uh, the best way to deal with them is by actually addressing them on, on a daily basis and, and overcome those things uh, as, uh, as, as needed. Uh, the other tip that I would give around challenges is, is utilizing your resources. Uh, there are... Um, plenty of individual that will go out of their way to help out and it's easy to just take the burden on your own uh, so seeking advice seeking mentors uh, is critical in uh, in my own success yeah i totally agree with you especially having mentors is important have you had any mentors in your career mike yeah, I, I, you know, I've had a couple of um, mentors, uh, you know, one, one specifically was a successful um, a real estate and, and, and tech uh, executive. And, and, you know, through those relationships, it, it became organic. Uh, I think it's important when you seek uh, mentors and uh, we may be going off, uh, off topic, but when you're seeking mentors, I think it's important to treat it as a two-way relationship. So I think that uh, you can't uh, underestimate how much you can give to the mentor as well, uh, as much as I'm taking as a mentee. Uh, yeah. So being able to, uh, to offer that uh, relationship, uh, they, again, will go out of the way to introduce you to individuals, uh, to help with networking, to seek advice. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, they want to see you succeed. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's, uh, it's a nice uh, organic relationship that's uh, a win-win situation. I agree. It's a two-way communication. And one last thing. Uh, in your profile, you quote Steve Jobs in terms of you need to love what you're looking and uh, don't settle it down. So a lot of people, like, they, I want to find my dream job, but they settle it down because they have to pay the bills, you know, things like that. So what do you say to those people? I, I think it's, um, I always think of it as, as a journey. I think that sometimes in order to reach a destination, you need to know that there's going to be uh, certain steps that you will go through. Um, you know, a lot of people even coming out of school or, or um, new immigrants that uh, come into our, our beautiful country, um, sometimes don't see it as, as an end game. They just are looking to put uh, foot on the table, uh, but that's not necessarily going to be where the destination is going to be. So understanding is is where do you want to get to, and what steps do I need to do to achieve that? Uh, ultimately, what I'm doing today is what I love, but it's not necessarily what I did 15 years ago. So I was able to take on those experience, show f some flexibility earlier in my career, uh, take the best out of each experience, and then get to the position where I truly enjoy what I do every single day. Yeah. Thank you, Mike, for all those tips. I know we covered like so many topics in the introduction, but I wanted people to know more about you. And for the audience watching, uh, please tune in tomorrow for another question with Mike. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you like these videos, like and share to your friends. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another question with Mike.